what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel another deathless vision video wow it's almost like I like this champion or something I'm bringing you one last deathless vision video for the meantime I should either already have made one for the destroyer for summer of suffering or that's not out yet one of the two will be correct I don't know when I'll be uploading this video but I wanted to show off the maximum potential of Deathless Vision in a realistic way. So, as some of you may know, on my free-to-play account, I took my Deathless Vision to rank 3, and once we can awaken him, I will bring him to Sig 40. Of course, the dupe gives us 20, and then I have 20 arcade games Sig Stones that I will be giving my 7-star Deathless Vision. So, again, before more people jump into the comments and say I'm just trying to make him look good because that's the Kabam initiative that's not the case at all I just like the champ and I think he's getting a bad rap and I don't think people are using him properly now before again don't jump into the comments and say oh my god he says we don't know how to use champ no 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 it's nothing like that think before you speak because I'm thinking before I'm speaking I'm saying that because there's actually a more optimal way to use deathless vision than what we've probably seen from a lot of content coming out with him so far He's a little trickier to use than you would think, and I think that's okay. I think it's okay to have more rigid characters. I do think, however, that Deathless Vision does need a little more help in the Power Drain department. I have that. I have made that recommendation to Kabam. I have given them my thoughts on it, and let's just say that they have received the feedback. Not to say that they're going to act on it, but they have heard me, and they have received the feedback that I provided to them about what I would change for Deathless Vision. So to use him optimally, it's not that complicated, but to do it well, you have to really know what you're doing. You want to push the opponent over 1.2 to 1.3 bars of power. Ideally, 1.2 is the sweet spot because that allows for the rotation to feel more fluid. Once you do that, you use your special one. The good thing about Deathless Vision's special attacks is they don't grant the opponent any power. So setting this up feels a lot better because you don't have the risk of pushing them too far because the special itself doesn't deal any power. So that's a good thing from the get-go. Once you do that and power drain them below a bar of power because you're at that threshold and a special one burns 35%. Right now, I'm hoping that number can go up, but as of right now, it's 35% of a bar. Once you do that, they get pushed below, you get a phase charge. Next, immediately go for a parry. From this parry, you immediately counter because you're phased, so the opponent is missing. And every time that you hit the opponent while your phase is active, you gain a stack of fury, max stacks of 12. It's very easy to get fully ramped up with vision in only a couple of special attacks. It does not take a super long time. And then you just repeat this process. That's it. That is the literal loop of Deathless Vision. He's made for short-form content, and this is what you want to do. He, he is made for th less than 350,000 health opponents. That is like where he will thrive. I made the comparison in the CCP when I was giving my feedback of he's a lesser version of Warlock, but a more sur sustainable version of Rocket Raccoon. Now, I, I do think Rocket has more overall utility, but he lacks sustainability, whereas Vision has that sustained, he has the immunities, and he has similar power control to Rocket. Not better, but similar. I think with a, a tweak to his power drain to make it more potent, I think that right there would make him a lot more valuable. And then I also suggested that against mutant champions, he has either increased ability accuracy or is straight up immune to ability accuracy modifications. Again, those are suggestions that I made. Those are not changes that he will get, at least not that we know of. I'm hoping that they listen to my feedback and give him the little bit of love that I think he needs to become a pretty good character. Because right now I think he's okay. He's solid. And I like him, so if I sound more excited about him, it's because I, as an individual human, like the character, and I'm not telling you how to feel or, or think or anything to do with your account ever. And hopefully Kabam will listen to my suggestions. But in any case, that's the loop. Take a screenshot, whatever, if you care, if you like Deathless Vision, if you're trying to like him. This gameplay right here, again, is from the CCP. We cannot awaken Deathless Vision yet, but we will soon. I want to make that crystal clear. We cannot awaken him yet, but we will be able to awaken him soon. So all of this gameplay is from a rank 3 Sig 40 Deathless Vision in content where you're supposed to be using him, or health pools, should I say. 
again, we're going back to the to the Cyclops in the CCP test map. 260,000 health for the 7 star rank 3 Deathless Vision. You really feel the benefit for class advantage, but even without class advantage, he's still putting up a decent time. So, we're burning the power here, we're baiting a special 2, we got the phase from the initial power burn, we're going for another special 1 here, phase, immediately counter, we're up to 7 furies, go for a relic, and again, this is 260,000 health, and he has a lot more runway, we are not even fully ramped up yet, and without even getting ramped up fully, fight's over, 33 seconds for 260,000 health, not terrible, not terrible, non-class advantage, Still okay. Again, doing the optimal vision rotation. He feels fine. He feels decent. He's great for like Iceman, Mr. Sinister, Bishop, champs like that, but he can also be a generalist for other opponents. And you're seeing an example of what health pools of general defenders could possibly look like. Again, this is 260,000 health, we're not even fully ramped, and Star-Lord is down to 50% health, so we've already taken off 130,000 health, and counting, you can see in the loop here that we're trading special attacks, that is the name of the game with Deathless Vision, you trade specials, he is not meant to lock the opponent down completely, he is meant to make them use a special and then you use a special make them use a special you use a special but because you're constantly pushing them over a threshold of power you're constantly draining them over a threshold of power and you're building up those phase charges very very quickly that was 40 seconds again not class advantage no boost no synergies deathless vision with a four star vision relic and the relic isn't even helping here there's no willpower there's no regeneration on any of these fights except for one of the last fights that i show the, the relic doesn't even come to play, and on that regen fight, it's mostly vision and not the relic, because the relic is barely doing anything aside from providing him a striker. 270,000 health sentry, again, just showing off generalist style health pools. Vision is okay. I'm not going to sit here and tell you this guy deserves all your resources. If you don't like the, the play style and how potentially rigid it can be, don't worry about it. But if you do, and you want to learn how to properly use him, because in my opinion, the way I'm using him here is the optimal way to use him in short form content. I do not think the special 2 is good. I think it takes too much time. I think the buildup is not worth it. I think the special 1 back and forth, that trade off, I think that's what you want to do. Again, a rite of passage for showcase videos, Windsor Soldier. This is a lot faster than it was with the rank 2 SIG 40. Rank 3 feels a lot better. Again, not made for this type of health pool specifically, but at the rank 3 SIG 40 level, he definitely feels better. Definitely feels a lot better than the rank 2, that's for sure. I think I cut off like 25 seconds off the rank 2 time with the rank 3. You want to run the crit stat focus with Vision. The more crits, the better. He doesn't really need any other type of stat focus. So, that's good. Just more crits are, are good. And he has a decent critical damage rating as well. So, one thing to note. A little fun fact for you there. But you can see that I'm trading specials with Winter Soldier here. I'm letting him use a special, and then I'm pushing myself over a bar of power. I'm using a special. I burn his power. I phase. I pause my furies. I push him over a bar of power. I push him over another bar of power. So, I use this special gain a phase charge, he uses a special. It's a back and forth, it's a trading game. I think a lot of people have been focused on the wrong way to use vision, like going to special 2 and trying to build up as many phase charges as you can before you start uh, triggering them. And I think that's all wrong. I think that is not the way you want to play him, that's not the way you want to approach his playstyle. A minute and five seconds for a rank 3 7 star. Again, it's not breaking any records, but it is decent for vision who's not made for longer types of content. And then this fight right here is a 436,000 health Mr. Sinister in Act 7.1. This is the biggest Mr. Sinister I could find outside of needing synergies for the Act 6 boss. And you're going to see just how great Vision is for Mr. Sinister. This node even has buffet, so there's more regen. And you're just going to see Vision completely shut him off. The passive heal block is active. We're now just trading special attacks with Mr. Sinister. I push him over two bars so then I can bait a special one, phase right through it, and immediately counter to build up my Furies. Again, your max stack of Furies is 12, 
So once you get to 12, all you need to prioritize is getting that phase to pause the Furies. So right away, Sinister's already down to 30% health. The fight had barely even started, and Vision almost has him down. A Battlegrounds level Mr. Sinister would already be dead. There, there would... Yeah, the health pool would already be gone because a Battlegrounds Mr. Sinister has 300,000 health and this Sinister has 136,000 more health and that was still 50 seconds. Sinister is tough. He is not easy, not easy to counter. And Vision, I would say, is within the top three best Sinister counters now. I'd say Warlock, Shocker, and Vision are probably the three best Sinister counters in the game right now. Once people can awaken their Vision, I really hope that the vision is clearer if it's not again before you clip me please clip me saying this anybody i'm not telling you that this is the best champion in the game i'm not telling you he's the best deathless i'm not telling you he's the best tech i like him and i think he's being underappreciated because he's not being utilized properly i have now shown what i believe to be the most optimal rotation and if you still don't like him totally fine you can have that opinion go on with your day, I'm not going to be upset about it. Believe me, I'm not going to be upset about it. It is all, at the end of the day, about what we want to do with the champions in the game. So, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck it through to the end, I appreciate it. I would appreciate, as well, if you hit that subscribe button. We just crossed over 34,000 subscribers recently, so thank you all very much for that. I greatly appreciate it. I would love to hit 40,000 by the end of the year. I think that's very attainable, and if I keep the grind up, I, I hope people... If, you know, if I build it, they will come. So I'm, I'm hoping that the numbers continue to go up, the subscribers continue to go up, more people seeing the content is always the goal because I want to help as many people as I can. So again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.